All right, the NFL Conference Finals are here this weekend. Tampa Bay on the road in Green Bay. Green Bay is three and a half point home favorites in this one. The over-under is 52 the last time I checked. The over is hit in seven of the last eight Bucks games following an against spread win. The over is six and one in Tampa's last seven games as a road dog. The Bucks are four, one and one against spread their last six as an underdog. Tampa's four and one against spread in their last five playoff games as a dog. The Bucks were eight and two straight up and five five against spread on the road this season, with six of those ten games going over the total. Tampa is five and two against spread their last seven games overall. The Bucks have won six straight games overall and seven straight games on the road. Tampa's three and seven against spread their last ten games in January. The road team. The road team is 106 and 68 against spreads in Bucks games since 2009. Tom Brady is 194 and 133 against spread as a starter, 260 and 82 straight up. Brady is 30 and 10 straight up in the playoffs and 20 and 20 against spread in the postseason. Aaron Rodgers is 109 and 73 against spread since 2009. The over is 8 and 0 in Green Bay's last eight January games. The over is hit in each of the last six Packers playoff games. The over is 4 and 0 in Green Bay's last four games versus a team with a winning record. The over is 4 and 0 in the Packers' last four at home versus a team with a winning record. Green Bay is 5-0 against spread their last five at home versus a team with a winning record. And the Packers were 8-1 straight up and 6-3 against spread at home this year. With the total going over the number in five of those nine games. So those were pretty close splits on the over-under in Packers home games this year. Packers are 5-2 against spread their last seven overall. Green Bay has won seven straight games and six in a row at home. The home team is 5-2 against spread in the last seven meetings. These two teams are 5-5 straight up in their last 10. The Bucks are 6-4 against spread their last 10 versus Green Bay. The over is 4-2 in their last six meetings and 5-5 five five over their last 10. The Bucks are 4-2 against spread their last six versus Green Bay. Tampa is 1-15 straight up their last 16 games in Green Bay. 14 of Tampa's last 20 games versus NFC opponents have gone over the total. Tampa is the only team that Rodgers has thrown more interceptions, nine, than he has touchdown passes against in his career, eight TD passes. Teams that beat a team by 20 plus points in the regular season and then face them in the conference championship are 13-3 straight up in the rematches, 4-0 in the last 10 seasons. The Packers offense was ranked first in points scored with 31.8 and turnovers with 11 turnovers this year. The Bucks defense ranked 8th in points allowed with 22.2 and 5th in takeaways, taking the ball away 25 times. Tampa's offense ranked 3rd in points scored at 30.8 and 7th in turnovers with 17. While Green Bay's defense ranked 13th in points allowed at 23.1 and 22nd in takeaways with 22. The Bucks only surrendered an average of 70 0.10 rushing yards per game on the road this year, while well, the Packers offense put up an average of 164.89 on the ground per game at home this season. Tampa won the last game earlier this year, 38-10 versus Green Bay. Packers had an early 10-0 lead, and then Tampa ran the ball efficiently. They had around 160 yards, 150, 160 yards. Jones got the bulk of that with a pair of touchdowns on the ground. Um, Rodgers had a pair of turnovers, which is very unheard of. For Rodgers, I don't see him having a pair of turnovers again this week, but you never know. Tampa's defense is pretty good. In that same game, the Bucs had zero turnovers, zero penalties, and didn't give up a single sack, and didn't give up a single QB hit in the entire game. Green Bay, your defensive line and your blitz packages have to get fucking pressure on Brady if you want any chance of moving on. You're the better team. You should win this game. Green Bay was 11-0 when they didn't turn the ball over, and 3-3 three and three when they had one or more turnovers this year. Tampa picked off Breeze three times last week. I think the Thomas injury might have had a big thing to do with that. I think Breeze was really off his time with him, especially with the injuries, multiple operations or surgeries he has to have in the offseason or whatever the case with Thomas is. I haven't checked back since the game ended last week or the, since Monday, basically. So a day after or two. 
Brady led the NFL in completions on passes over 20 yards, while Rodgers led the league in passing yards on passes of 20 plus yards. The Bucs haven't played in cold weather all season. Brady might be used to it. He spent all that time in New England. They played lots of cold weather games, but Tampa not playing a single game in cold weather. They're a Florida team. Brady might be used to it. Uh, Pierre Paul probably used to it being coming from the, or not Pierre Paul, sorry, I uh, shoot. Uh, what's face defensive lineman anyways um but how's the rest of the team going to manage in the cold weather in green bay the temperature is supposed to hover just around freezing so we'll see how big an effect that has on it the last two times the packers have played in the nfc championship game they fell behind 27 nothing to san fran by half last year and three years before that or four years ago i believe it was they were down like 21 24 nothing i think it was to atlanta um they just couldn't recover, couldn't come back. It, whichever offensive line can protect their quarterback better. If Brady has a clean pocket and a clean game like last time where he didn't get touched, sacked, hit, anything in the game versus Green Bay, Tampa will win. It's not how I'm rolling on this. I like Green Bay to win this game by about a field goal. So I like Tampa to cover the three and a half point spread. Buffalo plus three on the road in Kansas City. The over under in this one is 54 and a half. And in that Green Bay game, sorry, I would play the over in that game if I was betting the over under. Kansas City home, three point home favorites. Over under 54 and a half. The over is 4 and 0 in Buffalo's last four games as a dog. The over is 5 0 and 1 in the Bills' last six games on grass. The Bills are 4 and 0 against spread their last four games as a dog. Buffalo's 4 and 0 against spread their last four on the road. The Bills were 6-2 straight up, 5-3 against spread on the road this season. The over was 6-1-1 one one in Buffalo's eight road games. The Bills are 9-1 against spread their last 10 overall. 12 of the Bills' last 18 games have gone under the total. Buffalo's won eight straight games, tied for the second longest streak in franchise history. Josh Allen's fewest passing yards, 122, and lowest completion percentage of 51.9 in a game this year came against Kansas City in week six. Buffalo is four and two straight up in franchise history in AFC AFL championship games, but they have won their last four in a row, so they lost their first two, obviously. The Bills have allowed 18 points per game versus the Chiefs since 2017. That's the fewest by any team who's played Kansas City at least twice in that time frame. The Chiefs were 7-2 straight up and 3-6 and against spread at home this season. The under was 5-4 in Kansas City's home games. KC is 0-4 against spread their last four as a home favorite. The Chiefs are 0-8 against spread their last eight games on grass. KC is 0-5 against the spread their last five versus the AFC. The Chiefs are 0-5 against spread their last five at home. Kansas City's 1-8 against spread their last nine overall. Each of Kansas City's last eight wins have been by six points or less, including the playoffs last week. That's the longest such streak in NFL history. Patrick Mahomes is 42 and 9 straight up, 29 and 20 against spread. Mahomes is also 22 and 12 against spread when he isn't favored by double digits, as is to this week's game. Andy Reid is 6 and 14 against spread two weeks after a bye. Kansas City is 18-2 straight up their last 20 games versus the AFC. The Chiefs are the 11th defending Super Bowl champions to host a conference championship game three times, three years in a row. Um, oh, wait, I must say. The 11th defending Super Bowl champions to host a conference championship game. The previous 10 teams are 9-1 in those games. Sorry, I was reading two different points at a time. Buffalo is 5-1 against spread their last 6 versus Kansas City. The road team is 8-2 against spread their last 10 meetings. The Bills are 1-4 against spread and straight up their last 5 versus the Chiefs. Buffalo is 5-1 against spread their last 6 in Kansas City. The under is 4-1 in their last 5 meetings. The under is 6-4 in their last 10. Buffalo is 5-5 five five straight up and 6-4 and against spread their last 10 versus Kansas City. Kansas City won 26-17 in Buffalo in Week 6. Travis Kelsey has fewer than 70 receiving yards in all four career games he's played against the Buffalo Bills. Kansas City is the first team in NFL history to host three 
to host the AFC Championship game three straight years. That's the fact I was mixing up with the other one earlier. Sorry about that. This is the third playoff game since the 1970 merger between the top two players in receiving yards that regular season. The player who ranked second won both the previous such games. Has Mahomes recovered from that concussion protocol? That's the biggest question for me. That's the scariest thing for me is how is Mahomes' head heading into this game? I know he took most of the reps on Thursday or Friday or whichever it was today or yesterday, whatever the case may be. I don't know. That scares me a little. The Bills, they averaged 30.63 points per game on the road this season. Well, the Chiefs allowed an average of only 21.67 at home. Kansas City scored an average of 26.89 game, points per game at home this year, while well, the Bills' defense surrendered an average of 23.38 points on the road per game. Oh, man, what what will this game bring us? This is my upset. I just, something about the Bills that reminds me, I don't know what, they just seem destined to. They keep proving me wrong. I picked them a lot in the regular season, doubted them to start the playoffs, and all they've done is fuck me over. I'm jumping on with the Buffalo Bills. I think they're going to go in there because of Mahomes' health issues and the way they've shut down Kelsey in the previous four matchups they've played. I just think Buffalo, there's something about them where they're just going to pull off this upset win. I pick Buffalo to win and cover. Remember, take the stats. Don't take my pick so much. Take the stats for what they are and make your own decisions. you got to make your own choices in life, just like gambling. Peace.